time when Amul and Harushi were kids, they wanted to become a pilot and an, ast and an astronaut respectively. They loved the skies. They wanted to conquer them and maybe even go beyond them. But gradually what happens, all of us, including both of them, we get confined in a box. We think in a box, we study in a box, then once we start working, we travel to our office in a box, we work in a box, we come back in a box, we live in a box, and then one fine day, we go away in a box. That is precisely what happens to almost everyone in life. Today I am here to break the walls of that box, to make each and every one of you believe that being an entrepreneur is the best thing that one can do. I have a few statistics with me. 80% of people who are millionaires today are self-made people, which means that they were not born with a silver spoon, but due to their sheer hard work, dedication and determination, they have conquered almost everything. How many of you here know about Colonel Sanders, the founder of KFC? You know, he heard no a whooping 1009 times before he heard his first yes. And in the year 1976, he was the second most recognizable celebrity throughout the world. If you talk about Jack Ma, who is the founder of Alibaba, he got the idea of naming his company Alibaba with the story of Alibaba and 40 Thieves. Because there was a secret word there which used to open the treasures of the world. And that is exactly what he did. He opened the doors for the middle-sized companies and the smaller companies and made them believe that there is something which they can achieve in life. Even Mark Zuckerberg says that taking no risk is the biggest risk in life. And ultimately, what it comes down to is just two things. One, the ability to initiate and take a risk. And second, the ability to fight hard and never ever give up. The sad part is that most of the people just don't realize where to begin and what to begin with. I'll tell you something today. I'll give you a mantra today. You must have heard the phrase that you should always follow your dreams, right? What I say is that you need to chase your dreams. Let success be your only drug. Let's get high with success. Because trust me, there is no better satisfaction in life than to be a self-made entrepreneur, than to be a self-made person. The kind of satisfaction that you would have at the end of the day, when you would be reclining in on your chair, would give you the most amount of satisfaction. I have quite a few dreams with me. I want to charter a plane with my parents and my close friends on one of my birthdays and take them on a trip. I want to own a private island, at least for a day, where the entire island will belong to just me and my team members and no one else. I also wish to travel in a seaplane. And I believe most of you are connected with me on Facebook. And in due course of time, you will realize that each and everything that I'm saying to you today, which is also being recorded, will come true. And the only reason for that is that I know that there is just one skill which I am good at and I have enhanced, and that is public speaking. So each and every dream of mine, project of mine, work of mine is just confined to one thing and that is my strength. There are so many things which one does in her, his or her life but unless and until we are aware about what are you are good at, you will not be able to achieve high things in life. I know that each one of you sitting over here has got a lot of dreams and aspirations. Some dreams we say, some remain confined in our heart and I also know that me preaching here to become an entrepreneur might sound easy, but when you do it in reality, it is very tough. As you have got an education loan to repay, as we have got parents who have certain dreams for us. You can go for a job, but along with the job, find time to do something which you are very passionate about. When others are working, when others are partying, you need to work. When others are resting, you need to work. And only then can you achieve what you dream. I know that it is not going to be easy. But then everything that we have achieved in life, if it is worth it, it is always going to be made. i tell you something else. About one month back, 
I had gone to Belgaum to conduct a public speaking session there. To my utter surprise, out of 200 people who attended that seminar, eight, and they were BBA students, either in BBA first year or second year, eight of them have already started with their business ventures. Think, when we were BBA students, we were busy chasing girls at that point of time. So things, you have a bright smile, probably you were the first one on the line. So probably things are changing. Probably we are now competing with people who are far ahead of us. And to compete against them, you need to be very quick and very, very sharp. And that is why it is very important to realize that you have to do what you are very good at. And everything is available to you here. <laughs> You have got the right kind of atmosphere, you have got the right, you have got the Wi-Fi, you have got abundant knowledge with you. All of you here are people who have got percentiles more than 95, 96, which means that you have the ability in you to strive and work hard. The only thing which is required is perseverance. There is one line which I very strongly believe in, that if you see and if you look at a mountain and if you see a river which goes against the mountain, after a certain period of time, the river cuts through the mountain. And that is only possible because of the perseverance of the river. The river does not have the kind of force which is required to go through the mountain. But it is only through consistency that it happens. And consistency is the only thing that works. My younger brother says to me, don't look at the bigger picture, but just win each battle every day. Break it into small targets and 365 small victories over a period of one year will take you what you want and achieve in life. To that, I want to hear something from your side that each one of you will work upon your skill, transform it into a strength, and then one fine day achieve what you want to desire, what you desire, and what you deserve in life. So, on the count of three, let's have a loud yes from each and every one of you. One, two, three. Yes, yes. Can we have a louder yes? One, two, three. Yes. Thank you. Over to the field.